Hi, and welcome to Listaro Painting with Goth Ross. I'm your host, Goth Ross. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to paint a beautiful and relaxing landscape. So let's jump right in. Personally, I like to start out with a pure black canvas because I find that it saves time. At the end, this is gonna be mostly black anyways, so we might as well. Now I'm gonna start out with a sketch today. I really like to plan my cult activities, I mean compositions. So going right in, I like to start with the easiest part being the horizon line. Just like a cliff you might push your enemies off of. Maybe a spot for a relaxing pond or bog or swamp or quicksand, who knows. Now once we have that, I think we're all set to start painting. Now in choosing your color palette for the sky, you have a lot of options. Blues, pinks, purples. Now once you've chosen this palette, I like to use a method where I apply the paint tube directly to the canvas. Now that we have this base layer established, I like to go ahead and add in some black paint to blend in. I buy it in bulk because I find that 16 ounces just doesn't always cut it. While we're still up in the sky, let's paint some sad little storm clouds. Now that we have a nice fog rolling in, let's focus on our lake. Personally, I like to make it a little bit more bog-like, so I mix blue and, well, black. If I'm in a hurry and I need to touch up my nails, one of my favorite time-saving hacks is to put my hand directly on the canvas and just paint. I paint grass around my box to really give that overgrown appearance. Now I've realized that on this side of the canvas, some of the red from the sky has started dripping down where the grass should be. Don't worry, there are no mistakes, only tragic accidents. You know how Van Gogh ate yellow paint because it's his happy color? As I start to paint my woodland creature, his form might be a little bit difficult to make out, but HP Lovecraft fans should recognize him immediately. To finish up, I like to use a large brush dipped in red paint to give my creature glowing red eyes. And there you have it, a lovely landscape featuring the creature from the Black Lagoon. Join us next week and I'll show you how to create a photorealistic recreation of your sacrifice victims. Thank you for joining us.